Hey everyone, Matt here from Dukes Models, and in this video, we're going to play with primer. So if you followed any of my builds over the last two, two and a half or so years, you're probably familiar with my primer of choice, which is this Guns Mr. Finishing Surfacer 1500. This stuff is lacquer, it's black, it goes down wonderfully. Um, you know, creates a nice black base for building up the paint from there. As a little example, you know, I recently primed the interior bits of this Trumpeter SBD-5 Dauntless. Now there are a whole lot more than this, this is just the big pieces. But this stuff goes down wonderfully, doesn't obscure details, dries quickly, blah 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 blah. Um, essentially, I absolutely love it and see no reason to cast my eye around for a better primer. However, over the last, I would say, six months or so, uh, I've been seeing a lot of love given to a new primer that's come on the scene. You know, this is kind of fanatical amounts of love for this stuff. I haven't tried it again because I'm absolutely in love with my Mr. Surfacer, have no reason to change from it. But when, uh, when Rob Carvalho out of the Scale Modelers Critique Group reached out to me to see if I'd be willing to test this stuff through one of my airbrushes, I figured, what the hell, why not? So that stuff is this new primer, new-ish primer from Badger called Steinl Stein Stin Steppenwolf Steinl Stex Skrillex Steinl Ritz Badger's primer. Um, honestly, looking at the label and the name that you know seems to be reaching out from the depths of 1994. Um, Badger, your marketing department really needs some work. I mean, this is the, the lamest label I've ever seen from a design perspective. The logo, I mean, it's just awful. And this, what, this font down here, what the hell is this about? And just too many words, just, you know, I mean, everybody thinks Guns' labels are bad, but at least you, you can read what's there. I mean, the rest of it's all in Japanese, but, you know, at least the main label, it says what it says. This is just, ugh. um... Anyway, this is a water-based polyurethane acrylic primer. It's supposed to be fantastic stuff. Um, so we're going to test it out and see, and Rob is particularly interested in if it sprays through my Grex Genesis XGI, which is running a 0.3 millimeter needle. Um, you know, this thing, rec <laughs> this thing recommends a 0.5 millimeter or larger nozzle and spraying at around 20 to 30 PSI. Now, 30 PSI is insane for anything that I really ever paint. And a 0.5 millimeter, I never, I mean, I never have any cause for anything that big, even on big 132nd scale jets. I still prefer painting and even priming small. However, the 0.3 millimeter in this thing seems to me, just in my impressions of the way it paints, to spray a lot like a 0.5 millimeter in, for an example, an Awada HP CS Eclipse. Um, it definitely sprays bigger than a 0.35 in that thing. So I'm going to load it up in here and we're going to see how it does. Okay, so this is part of that P40M that has become a paint mule of sorts for me. You guys start with a nice clean piece of plastic. And then we've got the Stin... Sta, Stein... Whatever. Badger Primer. Shake the hell out of it because it says to. Shake well before using, blah, blah, blah. I think it's funny here if it says, if ingested, do not induce vomiting. One would think vomiting would be kind of ideal. Whatever. All right, so I've got this guy shaken up. Now it's got a little dropper bottle. Great. So I've been priming a lot lately, so I've been using this larger paint cup on the XGI. Cool thing about the XGI is it's actually got a couple different paint cups you can use here. I tend to go with the smaller one, but you know, the bigger one works when you're doing a big nasty priming job. So let's get this thing dialed into that 30 PSI threshold. All right, so here's the test. 30 PSI with this XGI.
Now I've been told this stuff self-levels really well. Um, I hope so. I feel like I'm spraying it with a typhoon. Give this a second. As you can see, as it does dry out, it starts to level off quite nicely. Giggles are gonna do a little bit on the inside here too. It's a better way to support this. So this amount of air is gonna be wobbling like crazy. Now I have to admit, I feel really dirty spraying this much paint. It's just insane. However, I really cannot argue with the finish that this thing is pulling off. This is quite impressive. Get right up in here and it's, it is as smooth as the plastic. Feels like the sloppiest way to spray paint ever. But it goes down and as it dries, it levels out extremely well. So for grins, I bring over my primed up Dauntless cockpit. And these two look pretty close in terms of sprayability. Um, I'd probably still be very hesitant to use the Badger on any sort of inside surfaces that need delicate airbrush workmanship and maneuvering. However, I have to admit that for the outside, you know, this stuff definitely looks the part and you know, it seems dry-ish right now. Even when I'm bombing it on, like up here, you can see it levels out pretty nicely. Still a little bit wet up in here, but that'll dry soon enough, and you can already see, I mean, it's like I flooded that stuff. Oh, sorry, knocked the, knocked the camera. I flooded the shit out of that, and it's leveling off. So, Rob, here's your answer. This airbrush can certainly spray the Badger Primer. So after going around with uh, Badger Skrillex here, what do I make of this stuff? To be honest, I have to say I'm quite impressed. Um, you know, I know that Jimmy D is gonna is gonna hate this, and Will's probably gonna be sitting back in his chair laughing his ass off. But this stuff is legitimately damn good primer. Um, you know, picking up the P40 that I was fucking around with. I mean, that is. A beautiful primer coat. There's nothing, nothing to be sorry about with this. Um, you know, I have not done a sanding test or anything like that to see how well it holds up so far, but I mean, finish-wise alone, it is just as nice, if not even, I can't believe I'm saying this, maybe a little bit nicer than the uh, Mr. Finishing Surfacer. It also goes down extremely fast, even though it, um, it makes me feel really dirty spraying that sloppily. You know, I can't argue with this kind of result. And for a primer, honestly, you know, who really cares how you spray exactly? Now, to answer the question for which this entire experiment was kicked off, yeah, I'm on airbrush hose. How does it spray through the Grex XGI? Well, as you saw, it sprays, you know, I mean, it comes out like a freaking tornado, but a 0.3 millimeter needle in this sucker will push that primer without really any problem. And 
me see if I can show in the light there. Um, you know, cleaning this thing out definitely took some elbow grease. It took some airbrush cleaner or some airbrush thinner, a little bit of airbrush cleaner, some scrubbing, etc. Doesn't clean out quite as nicely as uh, lacquer does with lacquer thinner, but overall, not that huge of a lift. So, will I be uh, bringing this stuff into my work into my workflow? There's actually a decent chance of it. Um, I can't believe I'm saying that. Um, you know, I'm not a big fan of acrylic primers in general. This stuff does seem to be a cut above, and again cannot argue with the finish that I got on this little test scrap piece here. So stay tuned, uh, the, the Skrillex may be making a more common appearance on my bench now that I've actually put it through its paces. So there you go, happy modeling, and don't drink this stuff, and if you do, apparently you're not supposed to vomit, so don't vomit. flying all over the fucking place. It's like a shake weight. Seriously, fucking bugs. Sorry, there's a spider taking down a crane fly right over there. It's kind of fun to watch.